period of transformation right now that's why this video has found you that's why you're seeing this video that's why you're hearing my voice and that's why you're seeing my image okay so i'm going to go into what's transforming for you at this time okay what area of life is transforming also i'm being told to look into your archetypes okay so what's your lower archetype what type archetype are you embracing at this point in time what's your lower self archetype what's your higher self archetype and then how will you know you're transforming because you are in a state of transformation right now you're in a place of transformation right now okay so let's get started with this reading all right so the transformation you have undergoing is one that helps you to reclaim your authenticity you've got the cell key and as kings reclaiming your authenticity we are now shedding everything that is not true to you that is not in alignment with you that is false to you that is an illusion that is an added on that is something you've put on that is an outfit and attire you've put on to be able to fit in with expectations societal expectations parental expectations spousal expectations friendship expectations familial expectations you are in this process of shedding up all of these expectations all these illusions all these false perceptions of who you are all these false disguises i'm hearing and you are finally reclaiming your authenticity finding your true voice showcasing your truth letting people see you for who you are no holds back not clenching your teeth anymore rather just allowing your words to flow through dressing as you want to dress showing up as you want to show up showing up for what you want to show up for giving attention to what you want to give your attention to so that is the transformative wave you are currently undergoing right now and i really love you for you girl you might be a guy watching this too by calling <laughs> but okay so this is the period this is a part of your life that is transforming so you are learning how to reclaim your authenticity you are learning how to shed off illusions a lot of you are also going to be kind of like undergoing a wardrobe change where you are really letting go and taking out like it's like you're doing a you're cleaning your closet okay you're doing a closet review and you're like okay you no know, this outfit was for that person this version of me now i can't wear that i want to wear something more joyous more joyful i'm hearing something that describes me better okay so let's see what's what was your lowest self architect yeah i lived here death okay so you might have been someone who preferred like dark gray colors muted colors you were i'm hearing like full-on morose like you are not someone who was you unbridled joy and you cannot be used in the same sentence <laughs> like you were very stoic very serious very stern you really didn't allow yourself to have fun you also saw things in black and white you were very very graceful like it was either this or that like you saw things like if it was not this then it's definitely that you you were you you were not exactly a complex person, but you were someone who saw a lot of, or you put a lot of complexities into things, okay? So, in, you are also someone who was, should I say, pessimistic. That image is coming through, like, for you, it's always just felt the, your lower self, okay? Because you are not that person, you're transforming, okay? So, you always just, the lower self, your lower self actually always just felt like things were, that maybe it was not worth it. It was not worth trying to be happy, worth speaking up for yourself. It was not worth being joyful. It was not worth being in love. It wasn't, you didn't even feel worthy of it. You felt like, okay, maybe it was distraction. It was meaningless. It was useless. And because you just saw things. And then what I'm also getting is like, even your view of life was very grayscale. Like you were not seeing colors. You were not appreciating. Sometimes it, feel, it felt like when you look out into the world, what you see is just flat gray. Everything in black, white, and gray. Okay, so you're so on that. You know, for some of you, you might have loved gardening or flowers. But what pulled you to it was more about the end and how things decayed. How things got spoiled. You kind of like that. You kind of had a weird fascination with decay um i'm also hearing corruption weirdly but decay damage like just things ending you had a weird fascination with that and it was almost like you always just look out for the end of the cycle you were always just focused on the end and it was a very pessimistic 
overview on outlook you had so you know you could be looking at the end like oh the end is coming so you could start something you know yours was always like okay so the end will come it will all end anyway so you had that you had this pessimistic view of okay everything will eventually end so why do i have to bother why do i have to try why do i have to make an effort why do i have to <sighs> And because of that, you talked yourself out of a lot of things that would have brought you joy. You talked yourself out of a lot of trips, a lot of um, promises, a lot of... Um, what I'm saying is like, you looking like from a distance at a group of people jumping, hugging themselves. And a part of you is like, oh, but you could have been part of it. Man. Like, hmm. You were like, hmm, maybe. But then you spoke to yourself and you were like, oh, uh, no, I don't care. Okay. But you it's still like you actually cared. You wanted to be part of them, but because of the way you had accepted that things so will always end, that there was no point. It was almost like you had no joy in life. You were just very black and white. It's either this or that. It's either this or that. Okay. You guys must have also worn black and white a lot. Like everything for you had to fit nicely in a box. It had to be compartmentalized. It had to have like a label. It had to be rigidly fixed and affixed and given an identity. You didn't have room for things changing or for things bending. And I'm also feeling like what I'm also guessing is like you were this way because you needed to control. That was your way. That was the only way. Like you felt safe being able to control the outcome and the only way you could control the outcome was by limiting the limiting the factors okay limiting the factors that could possibly influence the outcome okay so this gave you safety so you found safety in being in control hmm. and i'm hearing like this might have been something you adopted maybe because of your childhood you, there was no safety or security as it there were a lot of changes there were a lot of things changing, a lot of emotions. What I'm saying is like, there were just a lot of revolving changes, revolutions, changes, changes. And it never made you feel secure. It never made you feel safe. So as you were growing up, you told yourself like, okay, if I can control this little bit, then I can be safe because I know the parameters, I know the constraints, I know the factors, I know the structures. I basically know everything about this thing so I can control whatever is coming through. Okay, so let's see. You yourself right now, you know you're transforming. You know you're transforming. Yeah, so you guys are undergoing a tower moment. You guys are undergoing a tower moment, or you recently undergone a tower moment. But what I'm saying is like you're undergoing a tower moment right now, where it feels like everything is ending. Okay, so this video is also your confirmation for you that you're in this period of transformation, you're in this, you're in this energy of transformation. And to do you, you know you're transforming. If you didn't know, now I'm confirming it for you. Your life is changing. And that's why it feels like things are just topsy-turvy. Things are running amok. It feels like everything is on fire. Things are not working out as you expected them to work out. It's like you are getting the clarity and you are, you are being made to feel uncomfortable where you are. Can you see the way he is on the burning ship? He's on the burning ship and he's like, okay, that ship is burning. This thing is burning and it's going to sink. Okay, so where is my closest place of safety? So your current situation, your current living environment, work environment is something you have carefully curated as a safety haven for even for you. And now it's no more that safety haven because you are being made to change. It's like the universe has come in to, you know, sweep you off your feet. <laughs> Sweep you off your feet, get things moving. That's the vibe. It's like things, the wind of change has come in to help you to move because left to you, you stay where you are. Even like what I'm also hearing, like you could also even still try to manage the situation, which is what I'm getting. You might be trying to manage the situation, like, oh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. But it's like the more you try to manage it, the worse. And I know this is wrong, but I'm being told to tell you the worse it becomes, the worse and worse it becomes. Like it gets other, it gets more uncomfortable. It's only going to get more uncomfortable for you the longer you try to stay in your current environment. Okay, you've got the tower, 
okay so you know you are changing you know you are transforming but if you didn't know I'm here to tell you, right? This video is a confirmation for you that all the changes happening around you, they've not been for nothing. They've been happening to force you to be able to live, to force you to make your escape, to force you to move ground, to force you to find another place of security, another place of safety. That's the transformation I'm going through. And everything is happening to kind of like force you to shed your illusion, your perception, your false perceptions, and to be able to embrace your authenticity in full. That's why all of these changes are happening. So it's like the author it gets, the more you have to shed. And the more you shed, the more your true self comes to light. It's like you've been, so imagine what I'm saying is like, you put on so many layers of coats, so many thick coats, and then the temperature of where you rise is very hot. So you need to keep taking off those coats. You need to keep taking off those coats to find comfort. And that's exactly what's happening to you right now, okay? So everything feels like it's collapsing, it's ending, things are not getting better, rather <laughs> they're getting worse and worse. <laughs> um, it's like you can't catch a break. It's like first, it's what I mean is like for some, you may even feel like you're jumping from fire pan to fire, like as you're as, as you com coming to a conclusion of a calamity, you're trying to sort things out, another thing happens, and you're trying to sort that one out, another thing happens, another thing happens, and it's like everything is falling apart, even though you're trying to like glue it back in place, but it's like yeah, even as you're trying to rebuild it, it's just crumbling and collapsing. Yeah, because you're in a time of blazing. It's really not do you any good for you to try to hold on to what spirit is trying to take away because whatever spirit is trying to take away is because there's a better thing in plan. There's a better thing already being prepared for you, already prepared for you. I'm hearing there's a better thing already prepared for you, but because of what you have, you cannot because you don't want to release what you're holding on to, you cannot receive what is better and what is in more alignment with your authentic self. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Why are you becoming? Okay, so you've got the vessel, the eternal, you've got the vessel, the eternal child, gnosis, the tread, the queen, the bardo. You've got the burden and lastly the box okay so what's coming through is for some of you for the females among you guys are going to become a mother soon a parent soon but for everybody males females you are becoming a vessel that is used to birth god's magnificence you are becoming a vessel used to birth god's um eminence okay so what i'm also feeling is like you guys are becoming a creator you're in a very creative space right now there's an idea you're trying to birth to reality that was not in existence previously and you are being made to become the vessel through which this idea is birth the same way a physical child is birth the pregnancy you are being prepared to become a vessel of god a vessel for source, a vessel for the universe to come through and deposit and generate an idea through so that you can bring it into creative vision and execution I'm hearing, okay? So you are moving from this person that just stays in this rigid box and just sees all the dead ends, all the pessimism, you are becoming a creator, someone who birth something new to life, okay? So this thing you're birthing, for some of you, it might be like a communication project, a communication app. What I'm saying is that you are going to be helping people connect the dots. It's literally like you're going to be providing like a gateway, a channel, a thread for people to follow through. It's like you're going to be... So what I'm saying is like, what you're creating is something that is going to help people connect dots. It's something that is going to bring them from a state into another state. It's going to be like a red thread they hold on to and find out it's like everywhere is dark. All they have is just a shiny red thread. You can might be in communication, telecommunications, internet. It's just something I'm saying like about the passage of communication. But anyways, whatever you're working on is like something they can hold on to to find their way out of the dark it's something that they can hold on to to find their way out of ignorance to find their way out of hopelessness to find their way out of shrouded mystery of the unknown 
okay so whatever you're creating is going to be like a red thread a beacon of light to help people okay and this thing you're creating is something that would have made your inner child very happy this was something you perhaps thought of creating when you were a child or it was something you enjoyed working on when you were a child even if you could not conceptualize it as much as you are as you are being able to conceive of the idea now when you were a child this was something you had interacted with in one form or shape or the other or something you had considered so what i'm also hearing is like this idea it didn't just fall into your lap it didn't just fall out of the clouds it was something that you had des that you were destined to do that you had signed up to do in this current lifetime and now that's why everything around you is shifting the ground beneath you is shaking loose to be able to move you to its like Okay, it's time for you to execute on your soul mission. It's time for you to execute on your soul purpose. It's time for you to bring forth to life this idea that we planned together before you came onto this world. It's time for you to now bring it to life. You guys may also be moving into being more musically creative. Being more musically creative. For some of you, this is you becoming like actual musicians, maybe playing instruments, writing music, okay? But there's something about you being more musically inclined and also enjoying the grace that comes with. It's like the recognition that comes with being who you are. So for some of you, your music is going to get you recognized, your songs, songs you're writing, the instruments you play, whatever you do in the musical field is going to be what makes people recognize you. It's going to be what brings you like, what I'm saying like this is something that's going to be a legacy, something that's going to bring you passive income, something that's going to automatically generate wealth recognition power for you without you having to be too ambitious about it this might just be so in addition to what you are creating this might just be something on the side that you don't even think that you are right now you're not even thinking about it as a source of income what i'm saying is that this is something that is going to what i just keep hearing is something that's going to bring you recognition something that's going to bring you esteem respect recognition wealth luxury um prestige but not because you are going out to look for it do you understand so it feels like this just comes along and you actually wouldn't expect it okay so yeah just in this very creative state you are yourself who you are becoming you are becoming a very creative creator who, who is a vessel for god for universe for the source to, for source to work through you're becoming a very creative vessel. You're becoming a sacred vessel for God to be able to walk through you. What I'm also saying is like, you're redefining, you're defining the limits, you're redefining the boundaries, you're redefining things, you're, def you're redefining genres, you're redefining industries, you're redefining things, you're redefining li boxes, literally, definitions. <laughs> Not like you're actively doing so, but because of the work you're doing, because of your creativity, because of what you're creating, what you're creating is going to redefine a lot of identities, a lot of labels, like even your industry. It's like whatever you're creating is something that's going to be disrupted. What you're creating is something that's going to disrupt and it, an already fixed way of seeing and doing things so you think of something that is and what i'm also being told to tell you is like this is not something you have to think about it's just something that you need to, this message is not for you to stop being like oh okay let me go no you just need to accept that this is what you came into this world to do the moment you accept that this is what you came into this world to do it makes it easier for you to move through this tower moment for you to move through this transformative state to get to the place of being able to execute on the vision you had signed up with the universe it's like you can't run away from your divine assignment you can try to hide away but you can't hide away from god there's no way you can hide from god okay so you are supposed to come in to disrupt and create a new way of thinking, a new way of seeing things, a new way. It's like you're coming in to re re revolutionize, revolutionize the industry into seeing things and doing things in a different way. Okay. All right. So let's see. 
what Mudraf can help you move through this transformation. Music is going to be very healing and calming for you as you move through this transformative period. And don't forget, it's like, so your musical gifts and abilities, it's like something extra sensory I'm mirroring. You have some ESPs associated with music, but there's also something about um, your musical success, the success you're going to get from your music is not something you're going to strive for. No, it's just something that will seemingly land in your lap. That it will seemingly maybe like maybe it's just someone just randomly hears your voice or they randomly hear your song or they randomly hear you playing an instrument and like oh my goodness can you can you record this can you record this for my label can you it's just going to be so random because it does actually know what you're focusing on but it's like so what i'm also hearing is like when you made this agreement with god like okay when i come into the when i come into this world for this lifetime this is what i want to do god was not like okay because of that okay i'm also going to give you this extra thing so this musical success this success in the music industry is an extra gift <laughs> it's not something you have to strive for work for so you've got connectedness i belong okay Connectedness, I belong. The thumb is holding down the middle finger with the index finger cold and the ring finger and the little finger outstretched. Can you see? So the thumb holds down the middle finger, the index finger is cold as well, it's folded as well. Then the ring finger and the little finger are stretched out. Connectedness, I belong. Okay, this is the B mudra. The B mudra helps to deal with any kind of allergy and strengthens the immune system. You can activate your immune system. You guys might be feeling sick, okay? Or might have been feeling a lot more sick. Or falling prey to like some bugs and illnesses. You can activate your immune system. The immune system is also part of what is being destabilized as you go through this tower moment. It's like you're being broken down from inside outside. So your physical body is going through a period of um discombobulation. <laughs> what, what you just told me is this convolution, like we are literally being made to shed away everything that is not authentic to you okay so that change is happening from the inside out so you guys may be feeling a lot more sick than usual okay that's also confirmation for you all right so you can activate your immune system and your sense of smell like this breathe in deeply six to twelve times and imagine that you can smell something agreeable even seductive then breathe normally and imagine how you can have do and be whatever you want without any annoying allergies bear in mind that it is not nature or your surroundings which gives you symptoms but rather your own fears antipathies and limitations mostly on a subconscious level okay i go out to meet nature my fellow beings and daily challenges with courage and determination okay so that's the affirmation coming with the b mudra so i go out to meet nature my fellow beings and daily challenges with courage and determination you guys there's also something about 35 you might be 35 year old or you might be saying 35 is a lot okay just also confirm this reading for you all right so let's finish up so you guys might be having like sinus um blocked sinuses allergies stuffy nose a respiratory conjunction nasal congestion nasal congestion um respiratory i'm also hearing like respiratory distress for some of you might feel like you're having bronchoconstriction like you're suddenly having asthmatic attack and you've never been asthmatic but there's something about bronchoconstriction nasal congestion sinus disturbances sinus congestion like your face feels all stuffed and puffy it might be pain around your face <clears throat> your nostrils are not clear for some of you, you might also be coughing and feeling like you need to regurgitate, like there's some phlegm coming up. 
for some of you, you may also be having pains around your chest with some fever, I'm hearing railing cough, difficulty breathing, it could also be part of the symptoms you're experiencing at this time, okay? So it's really like your respiratory system is the one showing off your immune system, but your immune system overall, you may also be having more allergies than usual, so urticaria, um, wheels, wheezing, itching, hives, all of those and you feel like why is my body reacting like this it's because you are being broken down from the inside out and also there's a lot of fears and limitations you are still allowing yourself to hold on to that you need to release as you are going through this transformative state of finding and reclaiming your authenticity all right my love that was a very 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 nice long read let's wrap this up okay Let's wrap this message up. Now, you are in no doubt, you are transforming, you are going through a period of transformation and everything is coming together for you. Everything is happening for you. Everything is happening for your highest good, okay? All right, so let's see your final messages. You've got gratitude. I am a royal delight in my life. I direct my thoughts to the beauty I'm in and around me and give thanks to God for every little thing that brings me joy. You got gratitude and you got joy. <laughs> like a child, I discover joy in the simplicity of life. Again, the eternal child has come up. Happiness lies in magical moments, not in the material. Even the smallest joy is a great source of light. Then you got inner work. You guys might also be, there's, you might be feeling like wearing yellows, oranges, or seeing people around you wearing yellows and oranges if you're not the one wearing this, okay? Um, there's something about you needing to also spend some time in the sun for your solar chakra, okay? Work on your solar chakra. A lot of the things, what is stopping you now, or should I say one of the obstacles you're walking through now is being able to release the limitations and fears stored up in your solar chakra, like, okay, how will I do it if I don't do it the way I've always done? How does my authenticity feel? Your authenticity feels raw, it feels new because you it's been a long while that you've allowed yourself to be authentic. It's been a long while that you've allowed yourself to be who you truly are without whatever the world and without your material whatever the material world influence like whatever the material world has made you feel like you need to feel it's been a long time you've released yourself from the old of material world so that's why it feels new and real inner work god brings me ideal situations for my inner healing as i become aware of my weaknesses i turn them into strength I direct my thoughts towards the light and see the positive side of every stage of my life. Darkness turns into courage, thus I get stronger. You've also got divine fruit. As I work to improve and free myself, I strengthen my foundations. My intellect is light, my heart is warmth, and my soul is strength. I am nurtured by the divine sun. The fruit I bear reflects my inner light. Peace. I am unwavering in the face of fear. I come to my senses and embrace challenges. I am determined to think with gentleness and calm. I find inner silence and become a manifestation of peace. And lastly, you've got choice. I choose serenity, light, and positive energy. No matter what I go through, I choose happiness. I rise above fear and trust, direct my thoughts to good. Okay? All right, so my love, this reading found you for a reason. You didn't come upon it by chance. Right now, you're going through a very transformative state. You're going through a transformative phase that allows you to reclaim your authenticity, that allows you to connect with yourself, who you truly are, not who the world has told you to be because you need to have achieved something, you need to... All those external markers of success... You are being made to rethink and realize that those are things the world has imposed on you. Now, what do you truly see as being successful? And you can't make this decision by yourself. It's going to come through your direct connection to God. Your direct, when you meditate, you're going to hear clearly. And it's like you've been fighting your higher self because of your lower self, your lower self's 
connection and um, reliance on the things of the material world. So it's like it's a material versus spiritual, ego versus higher self. That's just what's happening right now. So it's not like you actually have a choice to make. The choice has been made for you. What's just left is are you going to go willingly with the choice that's been made for you by God or are you going to fight it every step of the way? That's the question. That's the question. And on this note, I'm going to round up this reading. It's been wonderful reading your energy and I pray you sweep the grace and the strength and the courage and the joy to move through this period of transformation and for you to realize that God has always got you and with God there are no missteps. See ya.